This is called At the Waffle House. And uh, just a little preface on this. I graduated college at the beginning of the recession under the first President Bush with an English degree and a specialization in creative writing. So I was a very well-read, well-spoken waiter um, <laughs> for many years. And uh, living with my parents in their basement, um, a buddy of mine who had uh, hit an existential wall in, in uh, uh, art school, uh, he was home too, so we would, we would wander. And we lived in Cabarrus County, North Carolina, which is a dry county. So we'd have to drive to Charlotte to get a drink. And uh, this is about the aftermath of one of those evenings called At the Waffle House. And it starts as all good Waffle House poems should with a quote from 1 Corinthians 15, 51. All right. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. Out of beer and out of time. Last call puts Tyler and I in a place where mysterious blendings of nicotine and caffeine work our Budweiser dull brains awake, where redneck jukeboxes full of whiskey voices lament great losses of the true ones and how we can all get stomped flatter than lonely Texas highways complete with tumbleweeds and dust devils simply by love. So where are the rest of those Hank Williams poets whose tears fall to the ground like rain making puddles only bleary-eyed drunks drinking their way through their blues can see. When thy cup is empty it shall be filled. Hmm. When she gets around to it and isn't bellowing side orders of bacon with those hash browns. So go ye then on down to a place where things somehow come to short order in those small hours before dawn in fogs of conversation rambling through coffee steam and cigarettes piling dead in testament to a new faith healing busted hearts in confirmation that you will never be the same. Thank you. Do you think the ministry 